James Robinson left a touch print on my life, not because of his brilliance. I came to realize it was because of the uninterrupted, dedicated time that he spent with me. He left a touch print of affirmation, affirming for me who I was. My mother, a touch print of confirmation, confirming for me who I could be. And then there's Mr. P. We call him Mr. P because we couldn't pronounce his last name in junior high school. I hadn't been in this country very long before I had Mr. P as my gym teacher. And he said, OK, <coughs> class, let's go on outside. He took the class outside and he announced this. He said, we're now going to find out who the fastest person in the class is. I instinctively stooped down and started to untie my shoelaces. Mr. P inquired with some authority, Mr. Edwards, what are you doing? I looked up at him and I replied, "Me, I take my shoes off, man. <laughs> Mr. P felt it necessary to insert some additional sentences. He said, Mr. Edwards, we have a policy here at the school, and that policy is that everyone in gym class must be wearing socks and shoes at all times. Well, I rose to my feet, ignorant of the hierarchy of the moment, and simply blurted out, well, how am I feeling the thing that might have done about my foot? <laughs> Translated, that means how am I to exceed the rate of my peers if I'm encumbered by these attachments on my lower extremities? <laughs> I had always done everything barefoot. In Jamaica, we grew up barefoot. We ran track barefoot. We played soccer barefoot. So it was my firm belief that I could only run a race barefoot. I told you that my mother touched my life. I got home later that night. The school had already called to tell her that I'd argued with a teacher, and she touched me again. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later, Mr. P pulled me aside in the hallway. He said, Mr. Edwards, I saw what you did in that gym class, and I have an opportunity for you. I'd like for you to come and train with the high school varsity track team. Mr. P saw something in me that I was fully incapable of seeing in myself. A kid who had been an outcast since the day he landed in this country, spit upon, beat upon, bullied to the max. In fact, at a time in my life when I didn't even really value life very much. And Mr. P saw something in me. He left a touch print on my life of acceleration, accelerating who I would become today. <laughs> 